President Obama has called House Speaker John Boehner and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to urge a resolution to the payroll tax cut standoff. Spokesman Jay Carney says Mr. Obama urged Mr. Boehner to bring the House back into session to pass a two-month extension of the cuts previously approved by the Senate. Carney says the president is committed to then working on a full-year extension of the cuts. Unless the House passes the two-month extension, taxes will increase on 160 million people after the first of the year. Illinois Congressman Aaron Schock says the biggest difference between the Senate and House bill is how long government can fund the included programs. And Schock believes a year-long solution is better than the Senate's two-month proposal. Who runs a business, an organization, or a government 60 days at a time? This is really just kicking the can down the road. I think most Americans are, are, are quite frustrated when they look at Washington, D.C. It's why uh, Congress has such a low approval rating, is 60 days at a time, 60 days at a time. That's not the kind of certainty we need uh, at a time when our economy is struggling, at a time of economic uncertainty. Shock says if the payroll tax cut fight does not get resolved, he puts the blame on the Senate for refusing to come back from the holiday break to work out their differences.